How's it going, James? OnlineCarshow.net. Well, in this video, we're going to be discussing what, in my opinion, is the best oil catch can you can purchase for your LS or LT motor. So, without hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, well, just to start this off, I had done this video actually in the past. If you go back through the history of those that remember a while back when I first purchased the Mighty Mouse oil catch can, and there were a lot of complaints of people saying, you know, you came out with the video saying best oil catch can, but all you covered was installing and emptying it. It didn't really give many reasons to why I like the catch can. So I'm devoting this video solely to the purpose of just explaining the reasons why I chose this catch can over others uh, with my you know history of owning catch cans why I chose this one over other choices and I've had catch cans now on let's see the 2008 Corvette the O2 Trans Am uh, the 2018 Camaro SS1 LE of course uh, now this car and I think there's another one in there a truck or something I had one in so I've had you know four or five oil catch cans in the history of my car ownership, I've found that they're not all catch cans are built the same. Uh, some have advantages over others, and hopefully, in this video, I can shed the light on some of the stuff I've learned throughout my history of owning these oil catch cans and pass it on to you guys so you guys don't make some of the same mistakes I did in some of my purchases. So anyways, I'll get on to the video, but before we get there, if you don't mind really quick, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and hit the like button on this video. That'll help the video to grow and it'll help my channel to grow. And I can't say thank you enough for that. So let's go ahead and get on to the video. All right, this should be a really quick and easy video for y'all. Uh, reasons why the Mighty Mouse catch can is in my opinion, one of the best. Uh, there's also other ones I've had good luck with on my 08 Z06. I had, I think it was an RX catch can system. And it actually, they had a system for both the dirty or the dirty side and the clean side of the motor. Dual catch can system you could get. And their stuff was really good too. I had no issues just saying that right now. Uh, so there are, other, there are other good options out there. But I found a little surprise with Mighty Mouse and the fact for a couple reasons. Different sizes by your horsepower that you're running. If you're running boost, whatever. Their website explains it really well in detail. So they've got all different models based on whatever setup you have under your hood. The other cool thing was their website had all different kinds of pieces. As you can see here, I've got this elbow joint. Uh, ordered that from their website. Uh, they also fit all the custom fittings too, or, or as well. One of the cool things was everything is metal. I had another oil catch can in the Camaro that Honestly, it was a really good catch can and a really good reputable brand. I'm not going to mention it here, but the issue I had with it was the fact it had plastic inlets and outlets. And I just was not a big fan of that. I was always having a hard time with, I guess, the heat, you know, heating up the plastic and shrinking it or something to where after the car got hot, it, you could actually, you know, hand turn the, the screw connections. And it was just a plastic that was doing it and i guess you could actually use that brand those that know which one it is and switch out the plastic for metal and you'd probably be good to go uh, so that's kind of another reason i really liked this one uh as you can see here another big reason it says it right here on the side i guess y'all can't see that made in the usa so all of these are made here in the united states quality made not in china as I mentioned, they have customizable parts, so it'll fit, you know, any engine or motor, wherever you want to mount it. As you can see, I've got it kind of mounted in a weird spot in the LS9. Uh, the best spot to mount it is actually where my expansion tank is sitting over there. I'm eventually going to switch it out and put the oil catch can where it's supposed to be over there. This option allows you to mount all kinds of places. It's kind of hard to find a good spot under the hood of some of the Corvettes with some of the, you know, 
if you're running superchargers and all that especially mounted it to that it works great it's a little close to the motor but uh the optimal spot of course is over there and mounting it on the dry sump setup and i've also seen people mount it inside here it is a little bit more fun to mount it in there you probably have to take the bumper off i'm guessing but that gives you a couple options here in the c6 the reason another reason i like the mighty mouse and i'm gonna show you all some pictures online so i don't have to take mine all apart a window on the side of this one i don't think all of them do but a lot of them have windows now and they're updated ones so you can see if the oil level in there is getting you know higher whatever the vapor if you have it mounted in a better spot like over there you probably see it uh it also has a drain valve on the bottom which that's kind of how i use it i get a little coffee cup and kind of wedge it in there and uh, i think i have to remove the spark plug when i do it but i get a coffee cup put it in there drain it that way it works great i don't have to remove it from the motor or anything so the actual draining part of it is simple it's got a real simple valve underneath it dad before when you open this up i'm going to show you all a picture from online uh what they look like inside but there's actually two types of filter elements going on you've got the kind of high density one coming off where the inlet's coming in and then as i mentioned you've got the mesh going around it that catches all the vapors as it's going out the outlet all the pieces that were inside this by the by the way are all you know metal high quality parts and no issues there at all the top of these you can take it off uh it does look like it's reusable but i mean these things are pretty cheap i recommend you know every two years or something maybe going out and get another filter element on it because those will get a little bit of uh, oil vapor coming out of them and stuff and over time these will oil up pretty good also wherever you put this if it if you get one with a breather it can't it is going to dirty up that part of the motor a little bit just from the oil vapors still coming through the vil the filter element uh what i found but as you can see i haven't really cleaned it here and it's against a white tank and it's not even that bad so just know that it can't it, it can happen a little bit i've put about a thousand miles on it since i've cleaned that so other than that i mean i guess that about does it it's that's all you really need with a uh, oil catch can it does the job it's good quality made in the u.s product all metal parts all metal inlets uh easy to drain they have fully you know if if you don't need a straight pipe here or, or whatever you need an elbow like i did their website has all kinds of different angles elbow bends and sizes related to the product anyways it's a really good catch can and i hope that kind of covers it for you guys it's hard to talk a lot about a catch can because there's not a lot to them but this one is a great good one and i highly recommend it i've had great luck off of it so i guess that's it for today you know if you like my video go ahead and hit that like below if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe and i hope everybody has a great week thanks for watching